Uh, hello guys and welcome back to my second video of uh, UI design So we forgot to add one more thing. It's a back button. So I will use pen to create a simple back button Like this And let's add one more line Here on the center and we're going to change its color Okay, let's group those two elements and let's change its color to red okay now we're going to change its size to 2 and let's place it a little bit maybe on the right to align our uh, text hello there okay and it should be fine so now that we have created our uh, to UI designs, we're going to implement our welcome screen in uh, Android Studio XML. So first of all, uh, we need to export uh, this background from our project. So let's group uh, all those one, two, three, four, and five, five elements. Let's group it and rename it to background. Remember, your image asset uh, should be a lowercase letter. So Control E and let's export as a PNG. A check Android here option and as we can see uh, on the desktop we will have six folders named the uh, drawable uh, HDPI, uh, uh, LDPI, MDPI, HX DPI and etc. So we're going to copy those six folders in uh, our uh, Android Studio project. So let's locate our project. Android Studio projects, uh, UI welcome application source main resource and let's paste the, those folders here uh, okay so after that we need to create uh, one uh, android resource directory and uh, let's uh, create font click ok and now we got the new folder here named font we're going to copy our fonts uh, used in our uh, design project so those fonts will be sf pro display bold light regular and thin uh, but remember we need to rename those uh, files because uh, android studio uh, only accepts lowercase letter fonts and all other assets so we're going to rename those like that okay now that we have created our uh, fonts and uh, imported uh, our background as image asset Let's get started on the activity main layout. So first we're going to, on our constraint layout, we're going to import our background like that. And we're going to use uh, this text here to uh, create a, a new text. So let's change the font to light, uh, size to Hmm. let's say maybe 18 or 16 SP it's 16 SP okay as you can see uh, first text uh, is uh, you are not a member and question mark and the second text is uh, register so we need to import implement uh, two elements the first text uh, color will be set to gray okay we need to we forgot to import uh, our colors so head over to values colors xml and add the three color elements first will be named uh, gray the second will be named red and third white so we need the three colors let's copy this color code here and uh, change this to red and white copy this to red and add code for white color and next we're going to copy and paste our gray uh, color code to color primary dark because this color is for a status bar of our application and next we need to change the styles so we need to remove action bar and uh, action bar title so use a window no title and set it to true and the second item uh, will be named um, window oh sorry let's remove that uh, window no title and set it 
Windows uh, action bar and set it to false. Okay, now that uh, you have those two elements and colors, we can proceed to our text view. So text color should be gray, like that. And uh, let's change this hello world to uh, you are not a member uh, in question mark. Okay, now that we have that, uh, let's uh, change. Okay, we have created everything, I think. Uh, we need to move it uh, on the left to set the to 16 or it's too. Hmm. Let's change to see how it will look like. I, would, I think we should set it down constraint to 0 and left to 8. Let's try it out in our uh, in our uh, emulator to see how it uh, would look like. Uh, okay, let's first uh, inspect our. Okay, we need to add uh, margin start as well here because Android Studio told us that we should add it as well. So just add margin start and put it uh, at, uh, sixteen. DP as well or SP okay and now as you can see we have uh, opened our application in emulator it looks very fine next we're going to create uh, one more uh, element text view uh, let's connect those constraints uh, with uh, the layout and with the text as well okay like that uh, we need to change this second text view color, size and font. Uh, should we put it down below? Or, oh no, sorry, sorry. Let's undo this. Uh, okay, let's change the text to register and dot. Let's add the uh, text size to 16 SP and font to bold or regular, we'll see. I think it should be uh, it should be bolder font for the register text. Okay, like that, it's better. So uh, I think we should uh, change. Uh, okay, let's start the app first to see how it uh, would look like. And uh, I think we should uh, change this left constraint to zero or at least four let's put it to four i think the four will do the job right let's try it on the emulator and uh, it looks better yeah it's more uh with uh, our ui design in back in adobe xd so create a new text uh, text view for uh, welcome text let's first connect all those constraints Let's connect with down uh, text view and put it somewhere like that. So let's uh, change the text, uh, text size, text color and font as well. Text size should be around 50 SP, font bold and uh, color white. Okay. I think that's fine. Now one more text view under the welcome text. Uh, this text should be uh, nice to see you again. Uh, font should be light. Text uh, should be uh, text color should be white and uh, text size should be around 16 SP. We need to add uh, opacity, which is alpha attri attribute, uh, 0 0.5 like that. And let's uh, connect all those constraints as well. Upper constraint with uh, welcome text, left constraint with the parent, right constraint with the parent, and uh, down constraint uh, with the text. You are not a member. Okay. I think uh, up uh, constraint should be zero. It looks better. And uh, the last thing we need to do, we need to create a button. 
but first let's try this application in uh, in uh, our emulator. Okay, it looks fine. And now let's create a button. Uh, button width uh, should be 162 and height should be 53. So let's uh, let's change the width and height. 162 dp and 53 dp. Texture should be a login, login, and uh, we'll add attribute uh, caps, uh, text all caps to false. Uh, okay, let's create in our resource directory in the drawable folder a new resource file with the name button and change the first uh, uh, shape uh, element to shape with the uh, attribute uh, shape rectangle. We're going to add two elements, corner, corners with uh, a radius of uh, let's say 50 sp and uh, let's add one more element uh, which is uh, solid for a color, we will add color to red and that's it. Now let's uh, add this uh, button XML to our button element here with a background uh, attribute and now let's check it out. Okay, now we need to change the button text and uh, connect all those constraints. Uh, connect all those constraints, upper constraint with a text, left and right constraint with a parent, and uh, below or down constraint with the text as well. And let's set it up to 16. Okay. Uh, text color should be uh, text size should be 24. So let's add uh, let's add 22. And text color to white, font to hmm, maybe regular. Okay. And let's run our emulator again to see how it looks like. And there you go. I think that uh, we have created uh, almost exactly as in our uh, design in Adobe XD. So, uh, thank you for watching. In the next video, we're going to create uh, our second screen, which is login screen. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and uh, see you in the next video.